Hello, my awesome, sweet Cappies. Cappies, I missed you guys. I love you, Cappies. I hope you're doing great. It's Saturday morning where I am. Cappies, I hope you're going to have a beautiful, relaxing weekend. Have some leisure time to yourself. Cappies, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Cappies. What you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Cappies? Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Capricorn. For Capricorn's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Capricorn? What will Capricorn be dealing with, facing in their life? And how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? How is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? And what's coming towards Capis? Ooh, this one is looking at me. Uh, extra message. Ooh, Capis, two of cups, love, relationship coming up for you. Yeah. Uh, whether it's with an existing person that you've been thinking of or new soulmate. So, yeah, look at this. This is something that's uh, uh, dawning for you. It's it's coming to you, towards you. This is showing up in position one. This is beautiful. Uh, two of Cups, past life connection. Oh, my goodness. There's somebody that you love deeply and it's hurting you uh, because you're not with this person. There's somebody that you love deeply. Uh, yeah, look at this. I'm so sorry you're going through so much. Yeah, you see, this is you wanting so badly to reach out to this person, but stopping yourself from doing so at this time. There's so much you want to express to this person. It looks like there have been silent treatments between you two. Yeah, this is you uh, feeling... Like, you're not sure what to do. If you need to reach out or wait for them or leave it alone. Yeah, you see, look how stressful this is. But guess what? This is the highest number, 10 of swords and 10 of wands. This is you uh, closing out those difficult karmic cycles. This is you releasing, letting go of, healing. Yeah, you've been through a lot of trauma, emotional trauma in your life. You've been betrayed by a lot of different people in your life, including some family members toxic friends yeah you've been betrayed by a lot of people you feel like you've been uh, doing a lot of things for others and you have and people took it for granted took advantage yeah this is you releasing that past not dwelling on it releasing healing universe please show us what's coming towards cappies and how is capricorn currently doing on the soulmate journey Wow, look at this. Two of Cups with Four of Wands. A relationship coming up for you, dawning for you. If you allow it, if you want it, that could end up in very uh, happy uh, long-term relationship. Yeah, uh, satisfying emotionally. Wow, you're going to release whatever you've been holding on to. Any kind of uh, sadness, depression, uh, heartbreak. You're going to... Uh, release this successfully you're gonna heal yeah wow somebody owes you apologies yeah new love dawning for you new love new beginnings in love dawning for you somebody's gonna offer you love whether it's the person from the past or a new soulmate. Look how beautiful this is. Two of Cups, Three of Cups, Page of Cups, Ace of Cups with Four of Wands. You are extremely guarded emotionally. You've been through a lot of heartbreak. Some of that heartbreak was from your family members. Yeah, this is you releasing all that that is no longer serving you for your highest good. You're very guarded with your heart, but you're very wise, very strategic, intuitive. Yeah, you see? This is you manifesting. You're manifesting something in your life that is of great importance to you. And you're going to be celebrating this manifestation. Whether it's a new relationship or a new job or business, you're going to be successful at it. You're doing it. You're very persistent. 
I don't want to call you stubborn because stubborn is the wrong word to use over here. This is persistent. This is strong-willed. Yeah. Beautiful. This is you persevering through your uh, inner strength. You're brave. You're very brave. You still love this person from the past, whoever they are. Yeah, this is you feeling sad, abandoned, neglected, rejected. Uh, Cappies, don't compare yourself to other people. Be fair to yourself. Just because you're not in a relationship that's steady doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. Um, this is you uh, feeling sad. Don't compare yourself to other people who are in relationships. Uh, you don't know what's going on behind closed doors with some of those people. Some of them are not happy but staying together out of financial obligation, family obligation, kids being involved. So never compare yourself to other people. Don't look down on yourself. Yeah. Be fair to yourself. Plus they have different lessons that they're learning from you. You see? So never, never put yourself down. Feel like there's something wrong with you. Okay. Let's see. And then we're going to ask about your soulmate. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Cappies. <clears throat> yeah, this is you still holding on emotionally um, to the past, attached. Yeah, a lot of fears from the past, but you've done all you could possibly do. Now you are reaping your rewards in life. Yeah, you've, you've done a lot for other people. Yeah, this is you. You have so much power within you. Recognize that power that with this power that you have. Uh, that you're not abusing, by the way, as long as you believe in yourself, you can manifest whatever it is you feel you desire. You see, again, Ten of Swords, this is you releasing the past, closing out those difficult karmic cycles, learning important lessons, letting go. Look how beautiful your energy is, whether you're male or female, very independent, strong-willed. Yeah, whoa, you're succeeding. You're succeeding uh, financially. Uh, a lot of you are very successful at your business, but you're doing too much. You're doing too much. Yeah, this is you succeeding, persevering financially, making wise financial decisions, investments. This is also you, for those of you that work for somebody else, this is you viewed as very diligent worker who brings profit in. Yeah, you are manifesting. So if you don't have your own business right now, you could very easily be successful because this is you manifesting this. Yeah, you have that manifestation energy. Let's see what's going on with your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video, you know, please show us um, the soulmate of Capricorn. The soulmate of Capricorn. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Capricorn? And how is the soulmate of Capricorn currently relating to Capis, especially emotionally? And what's on their mind? Towards Capis. Yeah, this person loves you, so they want to approach you. They are at a crossroads. They're scared, though. This is them having a lot of fear, but the sun is present here, so that means they're going to see clearly how to proceed correctly. This person loves you a lot. See, this is them stressed out also about the situation. You see, they view you as the one. Yeah, you see, they want to fix things, correct things, manifest things. They want to do things right. You know, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Capis and how is the soulmate of Capricorn towards Capis at this time? Oh, yeah, uh, they want to make wise decision based on their sound judgment. They don't want to rush in foolishly. They don't like to show emotions. They don't like to look vulnerable emotionally, which they are in this situation, but they don't want you to know. See, they're scared of your reaction. They view us very guarded towards them, not trusting them. Yeah, they're very scared that you're going to say no. You see, they want to fix things. They do. They want to make things better they want to fix things make it up to you they love you this person loves you deeply uh yeah this person loves you deeply Ugh. so 
this combination here shows that they've been very stubborn in the past. Uh, yeah, uh, like to win at all cost. Um, hmm, that kind of concerns me. Yeah, you see, the tower moment happened. You had to let them go. You had no choice but to let them go, to release this situation because it was toxic. It was draining you. Yeah, you had to let them go. This situation be resolved, you see. Unexpected communication coming through. Uh, all pages are messengers, but page of wands represents messages that are unexpected, quick, passionate, out of nowhere. See, this person loves you deeply, genuinely. Deep love for you. Four of wands, reunion, reconnection showing up here on their mind. Wow. Let's see what's going on here. Universe, please show us... Um, What's going on currently with the soulmate of Capricorn? And how is the soulmate of Capis towards Capis at this time? You see, they're trying, they're looking at, trying to figure out how to approach you correctly. Yeah, this is them missing you, reminiscing of you, loving you, wanting to reunite with you. They're curious what's going on in your life. Yeah, you see, you did walk away uh, emotionally or physically. Or they left you behind. This person wants to reconnect with you for relationship. Not just to make amends, but to be in a relationship. But they're scared. They're scared of your reaction. This is them missing you a lot. This is them missing you a lot. Yeah, you see, they love you. This is unspoken love, secret love, hidden love. This person feels they owe you apologies, explanations, peace offerings, etc. Yeah. Cappies, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you at this time, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmates, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Cappies, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.